So I'm sure Andrew Sweat wants to know how many shootouts did we win this year? Did I win this year? I guess it's it's a we. Uh, none. Uh, we lost four shootouts. Uh, it's not because of lack of practice, uh, lack of execution. And, uh, you know, as a player, I think I was a part of maybe one loss of the shootout, but I've lost more as a coach. So that goes back to my players. Anyways. So the question I got was, how have I enjoyed having you in my class for three years in a row? And that was from Walker Craddock. Well, Walker, I have enjoyed having you for three years. Um, despite all the silliness and just the kind of um, discussion back and forth that we have, uh, you're one of the best students I've had in the class as far as getting your work done, uh, the quality of your work, and um, just the general attitude. So I've been, really enjoyed having you in my class, and I just wish we had one more year to go. Why do I never wear shoes? Um, I think the first thing I would say is it's always hot in the room. And so taking off my shoes alleviates that problem. It may be the only thing Mississippi boy about me. Here's one of the questions that you submitted to me. It says, what is the undisputed most exciting movie of all time? Well, because I'm Mr. Yance, I have to go, well, there's four ways to interpret that question. Let's start with the first way. The first way to interpret that question is, of course, what is just exciting, like when people are on screen, they go, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, and they're jumping off the screen. Well, some movies that try to do that are the uh, Fast and the Furious movies, which have gotten more and more ridiculous over time. Um, then there's, of course, La Femme Nikita, the French version, which is, in fact, an exciting movie, uh, and it also makes people jump off the screen. Now, a movie that most excited me is not what you're asking, but I'm going to tell you anyway. When I first saw Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio, that excited me as a piece of film, not because there was a lot happening on screen, there was, but because he did things in a new way. He re-envisioned, and it was exciting to see somebody do something different. Now that's exciting. Anybody can do things where they approach the camera and have things move fast and lots of gunfights, but to make it exciting because you're doing something new, that's hard. Uh, the question to me is, what would I have done if I wasn't a teacher? Of course, as probably as most of you know, my professional training was in dance, and it was only after eight or ten years of doing that that I suddenly realized that I had no talent or interest in dance, and so I made the natural transition to teaching high school social studies. And I really have never looked back. Uh, uh, I suppose if I had to do something else now, I've always been interested in politics. Uh, uh, you know, I used to think that I wanted to work in politics. Um, uh, you know, sometimes I think about going into politics. Uh, I assume that being a dictator is, is being in politics. People are always telling me I behave like a dictator. At least I think that's what they said. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's a Taylor Swift song to describe my life. The last great American dynasty. And why? And why? I think the title is self-explanatory. So, you want to know where I was for 10 years? There's no record of me. I was standing in broad daylight, but you couldn't see me. You couldn't find me unless I wanted to see you. There's a place out here that you're here today because of not what I did, but what I could have done. That's where I was for the 10 years. You figure it out. Does it really matter whether you have a collared shirt under your prep uniform? Well, it's sort of payback. My high school years were spent being chased down, having my skirts measured because they were too short. Okay, here's a question. How can you possibly have so many poems memorized? Well, I've been teaching so long that and I've taught so many of these poems that they just sort of stay in my head. But clearly I pick poems in the class that I care about and that I think are beautiful or that are meaningful. And uh, therefore, they're important to me. And because they're important to me, they're uh, worth having in my head so that I don't need a book or a piece of paper. I wouldn't do what I do if I didn't love the things I teach. So uh, poetry is one of my great loves. Why am I obsessed with Dante? The literary critic Carol Bloom says there are certain poets that can deal a reader an immortal wound. 
Um, and that's kind of his way of saying there are certain things that you can read that make you fall in love with poetry. Uh, and for me, that's Dante. Best advice I can give you um, is be who you are. Uh, don't lie about who you are. Don't fake who you are. Um, just be your honest self. Um, I know as an administrator, as a teacher, um, one of the worst things I ever tried to do was try to be mean or try to be hard or try to be just something I wasn't. And so the best advice I can give is just be who you are, be your honest self. Um, people will like you for that. They'll not like you for that. And either way is okay. But if you are who you are, then life's just a lot easier. Um, it's a lot more fun. Okay, just a couple of things about the school uniform. Why do I care what pants you wear? Well, you know, I, you know, I get that huge kickback from Dennis, and it was previously Parker. That's why I take these huge vacations to Europe every summer, and also I'm delivered by a limousine every day, so that's why I care about the pants you wear. Secondly, why can't I catch people vaping? Because y'all have gotten very smart now, and you're hiding it in places that I will not go. What have I learned on my journey through life? Well, I hope you learn faster than I did. But here's the main thing. Don't waste your life. I'm serious. I mean, wasted minutes turn into wasted hours and pretty soon you've wasted years. So don't do it. Spend your time doing something that's wise. Cultivate wise friendships. Um, use your summers wisely. Use your summers to build toward your future. Um, if something looks stupid to you, it probably is, so don't do it. So, um, so that's my advice. On my journey through life, make sure you don't waste your life. Um, uh, my oldest daughter dating a good-looking boyfriend. Well, the jury's still out on the, the good-looking part of the boyfriend. Um, but he's a great kid. I like, I like the guy. All right, He gets along with us uh, appropriately. But... As far as good looking goes, um, the, the jury's still out on that. Another question. What is your middle name? Well, I think everyone knows it starts with a D. And uh, I used to tell people various names of Roman emperors that began with D. I will tell you that it's a Scottish name. And uh, that's all. All right, Addy, to answer your question about my skincare routine, I gotta be honest, I don't have one. I wash my face with Neutrogena face wash and I wear sunscreen. That uh, sums up my routine. And Margie, you know, you ask if I'm gonna miss you, and I might if you would give me some space and some time away from you, then I might miss you. But class of 2022, y'all been great. I've loved getting to know y'all. I hope y'all have a great summer and a great freshman year. So y'all wanted to know if I could go anywhere in the world where I would go and I can't decide if I want to say to Alaska because I love Alaska or to Europe because I've never been. Um, so I'm going to say both. And then the other question y'all had was what is the last thing that I did with, with, which was illegal, which is basically if I come up to a light and like the straight traffic is green but my turn lane has a red arrow and nobody's coming for 10 miles, I'll turn on the red arrow every time. But anything else, I can't be telling y'all. Yeah, I want to know whether I go on a road trip with Snoop Dogg or Oprah Winfrey. Uh, right now, it's a hard decision, you know, because uh, I knew Snoop when he was a little boy, you know, back in the day, but it's been so long, he probably forgot me now, so. Oprah Winfrey, uh, maybe, I probably would, so. And the last question, can you get that Frisbee off the roof? I think that's for Randolph Smith, who's part of our maintenance crew, but if I needed to, for you, I would get the Frisbee off the roof. All right, seniors, as I'm wearing my wife's sunglasses on the beach, um, Mr. Gross sent me a couple questions that y'all wanted me to ask me for the senior video. Uh, the first was, that jumped out at me was, how's the diet going? Um, I didn't know if that was a jab at my uh, weight or if you were genuinely curious, but I'm on a high protein, high carb diet and uh, I'm currently maintaining weight right now. So thanks for the um, heads up. 
question two, question two was, who was my favorite student? Um, Y'all were all my favorite students. Uh, I enjoyed teaching some of you for three, some of you for two, and some of you for one. Um, I had a lot of fun, and um, I will miss y'all dearly. Um, and then the third question, question three was, um, do I have any advice for you in college? Um, one, before you go, love on your parents. Thank your parents. Uh, this is a tough deal for them. Um, two, make good decisions. Always remember WWCND, what would Coach Nix do? Um, I'm not asking for great ones. I just want good ones. And um, make sure you stay safe, but also have fun. And know that it's a special four years in your life. It's going to fly by very, very fast. And then you're going to blink. And before you know it, you're 35 cents on the beach trying to keep up with your three children who are uh, swimming in the ocean and they keep going further and further. So to end this video, um, I love each and every one of you. I'm always here for you if you need anything. And uh, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, if something comes up, I'm a phone call away. Be safe. Have fun. Congratulations. You will be missed. So class of 2022, it's been a great year. Hey, it's been a lot of fun. I remember all you guys from the 6th, 7th grade. Some came in the 8th grade. But I'm really going to miss this group. This has been a very fun class. Hey, everybody there was, uh, was somebody special. But when you get out there in this life, this is what's going to be tough. I won't be there to help you anymore. I've taught you how to help yourself. Okay? Be the best you can every single day. But if you need me, call me. Now, apart from these questions, if there's one piece of advice I can give you that you haven't asked for, was try things. You're going to be in college for the next four, or in the case of some of you, five, six, ten years. Try things you've never tried before. My biggest regret from my time in college was I didn't take an art history class just for funsies, maybe even pass fail. It would have nothing to do with anything I ever did in life, but I would have learned a lot of interesting things. Remember, the purpose of school, even college and graduate school and professional school, is to learn things you don't already know. If you already know it, there's no reason to be there. So try to find out about as many things as you don't already know, even if it's within your chosen thing you're going to do in life or outside. That's my number one advice. Um, so anyway, it was a really good year. I really enjoyed y'all's class. I enjoyed teaching y'all, and I really wish you the best. So have a good freshman year. So I am so thrilled to share this moment with you. I've watched you grow up, so you're going to look out, and I'm going to be the one in the rub with the big box of Kleenex. But we are so proud of you. Your school is proud of you. And I'm proud of you. All kidding aside, I have enjoyed this class. Uh, best wishes for you. Do not forget where you came from. Uh, I'll always be thinking about you. Best of luck in college. Please remember to connect your two brain cells when you're making decisions. Good luck and goodbye. So I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2022. So many accomplishments, both athletically, academically, with the arts. Um, you guys really made your mark uh, at Jackson Prep this year. And uh, it, it, it was awesome watching that. It really cool that I have a daughter be a part of it. So that's, that's special to me. I just want to say good luck and, and best wishes to y'all as you go to college. Uh, study hard. Uh, don't party too hard. But uh, y'all just have fun. And it's been an honor to coach and teach you guys. Seniors, y'all have been great. I wish on nothing but the best, and to my little one, I love you, um, and I wish wish you nothing but joy. All right, class of uh, 2022, y'all be be blessed. Peace out. Okay, class of 2022, wherever you find yourself in the future, keep reading, keep thinking. Find beauty wherever you are, and leave beautiful things for the world. AP students, I have one last thing to tell you, and you'll know what I mean. Whoo! Sarsaparilla. Good luck, class of 2022. We'll miss you. Class of 2022, uh, I'm coming to you both uh, as a parent and as the head of school. 
Uh, I've known many of you since uh, you were uh, young children. Uh, I've had an opportunity to, to address you uh, today during graduation. Uh, congratulations uh, on uh, graduating from Jackson Prep. Um, I think the most important thing that you can do is, is uh, ask yourself whether or not you left a school better than when you got there. And I can tell you unequivocally that in my four years here, this class uh, has left prep better uh, than uh, when it started. Uh, you have been a truly outstanding uh, class. Uh, you have led our school uh, in, in virtually every way. Uh, you have done things to incre uh, increase school spirit, uh, to increase the joy that's here, uh, to be great examples for the rest of the school. Uh, the school goes as its senior class goes, and, and you have been a great senior class that has truly impacted virtually every life, every aspect of life. Uh, Jackson Prep. I am uh, incredibly proud of you, uh, both as a parent uh, and as uh, your head of school. Uh, and I wish all of you the best of luck as you go into uh, next year and your, and your new adventures. You've earned these, uh, soak them up, uh, have great years, uh, but please don't forget to come home uh, and visit. Uh, we can't wait to hear from you, see you, and learn about uh, what exciting uh, new experiences you've had. I uh, hope you have a great night tonight. Uh, be safe. Uh, and we can't wait to see you soon. Thanks. Hello, 2022 graduates, JP. It's been an outstanding year, uh, an outstanding four years, six years, however long you've been here, because y'all are great folks, great people. Uh, we've had some championships, and uh, but it really, it's the relationships that have been built uh, but among yourselves and certainly with the coaching staff. We've started a tradition, uh, 15 snappy rise. Thought I would uh, provide one more to you as you move on to the next chapter. So here we go. Ra, 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 